meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, hopefully you've been enjoying your midsummer break. In fact, we don't hit the midpoint of summer until August 16th, so a little bit of a break from the summer heat, but we still have half the summer to go. And unfortunately, it's going to feel like summer again as we head into the weekend. But another nice evening tonight and morning tomorrow, courtesy of that frontal boundary that's pushed out into the Gulf of Mexico. We have a hot ridge of high pressure in the west, cool trough in the east, and in between we have that frontal boundary that worked its way to the south. But you can see a lot of that tropical moisture is just lingering offshore and back towards southeast Texas where there have been scattered showers and some thunder showers today. Eventually that moisture works its way toward Acadiana, but we're going to give it another day before we really buy into uh, more of that heat and humidity. Now you may have noticed the hazy skies across the area. That's relative to all the smoke that's been engulfing much of the U.S. over the past uh, several weeks, and that smoke will thin out as we head toward uh, the weekend as we get not only return flow at lower levels, but also at upper levels, so we'll get cleaner air here as we head into the weekend and with that we'll see scattered storms but notice that smoke still an issue across the northern U.S. obviously the western northwestern U.S. where the fires are and Canada has been burning like no man's business this uh, this summer as well uh, fires all the way through Alaska so unfortunately more fire season to go for our friends back there and we have to see some of the vestiges of that in the form of smoke now as we take a look at the, uh, the satellite imagery the enhanced satellite imagery this afternoon some storms back down in South Texas, some action in Southeast Texas offshore as well, where it should stay again tomorrow. So keep that in mind and you can see that frontal boundary along the East Coast. I always have to watch these fronts for an area of low pressure that may try to spin up with time, but no issues in the near term. Got an upper low here in the Caribbean, but overall Gulf and Caribbean relatively quiet, but the Hurricane Center tracking tracking two uh, specific areas, one in the mid tropical Atlantic low end chance of development and the other one higher chance of development. It's not off the African coast yet, but with time, Hurricane Center giving this about a 70% chance of development down the line. So we'll watch what's coming off the African coast and sub subsequent systems thereafter. In fact, as we take a look at our long range projections, we can see that tropical moisture working its way westward across uh, the uh, uh, much of the Atlantic and getting toward the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. So after about August 15th, things usually turn on in the tropics and we look to be on schedule there. So in the near term tonight, fair skies. Enjoy the temperatures near 70 tomorrow morning. And then for tomorrow, a mostly sunny, hazy, hot and humid day will hold off on the rain chances. No higher than 10%, maybe down along the coast. But as we head into Saturday, you'll notice a few more scattered showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures get into the lower 90s and that humidity will be on the way up as well. And even slightly better rain chances for Sunday. But here's the good stuff tonight. Upper 60s, northern portions of Acadiana, upper 60s to near 70 for Lafayette. And much the same, upper 60s, lower 70s, coastal parishes, uh, much more warmer and more humid over toward Cameron right by the water there. So overall, pleasant evening. Get out and enjoy it later on tonight. Not quite feeling like August, but we'll be back there for the weekend. 90 the high tomorrow. We'd call it hot, but still the humidity in check, but creeping upward. An isolated shower possible near the coast at about 10% for the coast, 5% for all of Acadiana. And then as we get into the weekend and beyond, very typical summer forecast with highs in the low to mid 90s, lows in the mid 70s, and the risk of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm as we go each and every day into next week and the following weekend. That's it for weather for now. We'll be right back right after this.